I got to be a stay at home mom for years and years. In 2008, my husband lost his job and we lost our home. We lost everything we owned except what fit into two little pod storage units. And when my youngest son was five weeks old, we moved out of our home and we spent a summer where we're living with my grandfather and my husband would apply for jobs every day. And I would Google, how do you start a business on the internet? And for years and years, I think that I had told myself, all I'm supposed to be doing is raising my kids. And I would feel guilty that I was working too, but we had the financial pressure that I had to be building my business. If I didn't have that financial pressure, I don't think I would have kept going. I would have told myself the same thing. A lot of moms tell themselves like, this is what I meant for. I can't, I can't take any time away for anything else. So for me, surprisingly enough, the simple process of me having to build my business helped me stay in touch with kind of who I am as an individual and helped me stay in touch with what I needed and to have boundaries as a mom mm. in a way that I was never able to before we went through that, yeah. you know, huge fiasco in our family. 